Hello everybody, Frankie Day here for Frankie Day Models. Okay, for this joyous Saturday afternoon, I have for you a, a fun uh, a fun build I've been doing. And it's a card model. I've been working on it for about two or three days now. Probably longer than that. I'll say about four days. Uh, this is the Brewster Buffalo F2A. And uh, scale 133, which is a tad smaller than 132nd scale. And I'm a pretty, pretty, pretty busy beaver. I've been uh, working on a lot of stuff lately. I got my mosquito behind me, hanging up above me, next to my uh, Hellcat. And uh, I brought that out and did some work on it a little bit. It, I think it had a loose wheel on it and had a repair on it. It didn't break. It just, I did not put enough glue on it. And, uh, so I said, what the hell, why it's here? I hang it up. So... A good, I'm a good cop. They got mosquito over here next to me, behind me, <laughs> and a Hellcat to boot. Okay, uh, that's the unnecessary craziness. This is uh, getting a little weird here. Uh, let's get uh, down to the uh, the buffalo. Okay, we're gonna come down, and take a look at it. So I'll show you how much I did on this thing, and I'll chatter away. Here it is. Here, this is the Brewster Buffalo at one thirty three scale. It's all paper model. I built it for this book right here. And uh, I got it installed in the undercarriage. I can do some more burnishing on this thing, do some more smoothing out. I made the uh, interior, I made these out of, a, out of a cigarette package, the clear plastic. And uh, what I did, I, I'll give you guys a reference for what I'm doing here. I got all the parts here. I think uh, I'm going to show you guys something here. Why I'm on the subject of this thing. Oh boy. Thank you. Never repaired. You know why? You'll never a boy scout. That's why. Okay. I'm going to get to get these windows right here. To achieve this, whatever you do, don't cut, the, don't cut these windows out in their entirety like the way it's on this printing sheet here. The blue area is the area you cut out with a knife. Once it's cut out, you can do two things. There's called packing tape. It comes with a big old, big old huge rolls. It's probably about maybe three inches wide. You guys have seen it before. You can take packing tape, sticky side, it comes up this side here. Then you take another piece of uh, mask. Uh, of your shipping uh, packing tape and put it on the outside, on the outside here. And then you just cut it out and it's all, it's like this here. Or, what you do is cut these out. Don't cut these out like I said in the, in the beginning. Just go ahead and cut the blue out. That's your windows. Once it's cut out, turn it on the back. You take some spray adhesive. This works real well. Don't use no water-based glues like tacky glue or school glue, wet glue. That tacky tape works good. It has contact cement in it. Then you lay all your cigarette package over top of that. Just go ahead and cut it out right here. You get a clear piece like here. This is a tip, fellas. So I got this much on it. It's the F2A Brewster Buffalo. These things here were... Uh, the way I look at it, we were in experimentations of getting away from biplanes. And Brewster Company decided to make an all-wing monoplane with retractable landing gear, like that of its predecessors, the F3Fs, F2Fs, Goblins, and Wildcats. When these were inducted into the service, pilots were just getting away from the F3S, getting on these things, because they're new. They had a lot of problems with these things. They're underpowered. The landing gear, they got away from the 29 crank system, which means the landing gear inside the wheel wells. This is all, no hydraulic, it's all electric. Now that gets a little motor box right there, inside the wheel well over in here. 
that's where your audio stack goes in there and pulls your wheels up. And as I look at dial on it, what runs this way on top of your dashboard, it tells you your wheels are going up or down. So that's a pretty unique feature. The plane has a lot of good possibilities. It's a stubby little airplane, as you can see. And uh, these things uh, were, uh, they could use them. They, had enough, they didn't have enough armor protection to protect the pilots from, uh, uh, from being shot down and stuff. And the, the, the speed wasn't too bad, but it was no match to a zero. Even a wildcat was no match to a zero until the, until the hellcat came out. Then they made its match. Now these things here were uh, cumbersome aircraft. The Navy had a lot of problems with them. Uh, they didn't want them anymore. And when we got when we got pressed in World War II, a lot of them were stationed in Midway. They used them for defense. They got shot down like it's like shooting like shooting a bunch of crows off a telephone pole. You couldn't you could miss. And uh, the Navy said, oh, "No more of these. <clears throat> no more TBDs. No more of these." In my eyes, this aircraft was obsolete by the beginning of war. This thing was a very good airplane at the time. Uh, for, for more or less use as, as model wing training. Um, learning the new features of, of, of a future aircraft will come to view. I can see it that. Because maybe it's in like the Army Air Corps, like anything in the military. Everything is experimentation until they just get, just got to weed things out. Because there's a lot of designs. There's a lot of designs out there, but they kept them on. They kept them in the closet for a while. They kept them in the closet in a while until they uh, until they until uh, until something happens like the event of war, and they pull out the uh, blueprints out and they figure out well what the hell see what it could be this thing could do. It looks pretty promising. They did. But this thing came out way before the war did. It came out about a year before the war did. It actually came out back in 1930, I think 30, 37 or 38. This thing came out. And it was a brand new aircraft, it came along with the TBDs, so it was state of the art. But those other aircraft out there that made these things obsolete, like the Zero, the, the 109, uh, all kinds of wonderful fighters out there from different nationalities, what they had. And they were, uh, these things were actually invented obsolete for the time. So they went onward. There's only one left with Finnish markings. Now, actually, these things were given to the Brits, and the English didn't like them. Some of them have, were pretty good. They had good results out of them. But the Finns uh, against the Soviet Union, I mean, they really, uh, they, 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 they really mastered these things. They were very good at it, shooting them down with these things. Now, I guess they, they uh, that, to, these, to them, these things were the best thing they ever had. They didn't have very much aircraft. And uh, so we, what are we going to do with them? we got a bunch. So what we do is just uh, give them away. Sell them out. Do something. They're no good. If you can do something with them, keep them. If you can't, oh, well. You're stuck with it. It's yours now. And virtually that's what it was. I mean, they, get, they get stuck with something that it's, it's, uh, it's been obsolete. These are good aircraft. They're stubby. Uh, a lot of the models like, like the Buffalo. The Buffalo is on a very popular airplane, never it was in real in realistic form. And even in models is not very popular, but you get a few models like I'm I'm one of them that, that, that enjoy the stubbiness in the early uh, naval aviation. And uh, <clears throat> this is almost like the Tanea one, but it's one thirty uh one forty eight scale. Now, I had the first Buffalo I've ever had, like a member, was the Ravel one. They cost me about 50 cents. It's a Denver Warbird selection. That thing was about as big as a hummingbird, 172nd scale. It was very small. And guess what? The landing gear was retractable on it. I think it was really neat back then. And I said, wow, this thing's got a little retractable landing gear. I like this. Card models build pretty much like classic models, fellas. They really do. And uh, they actually they're built almost like the little aircraft, all by segments. You slaughter them by segments, and uh, they're very, very, very hard to get these seams burnt so everything is very flush. 
You gotta put a little pressure in a helo, a teaspoon. That's I take that out right there. Cause light really shows stuff. You guys have witnessed light before in your models. You don't see it when a different form of light hits it. But when you uh when you look at it, when the light hits it, you say, oh how in the hell that's messed up. It is it's just not the illusion. But light also helps you too. This is the old boots of buffalo. I could put the undercarriage on that, so I'd be working on that tonight. I'm going to be cutting these out too. Those right there, observation windows. I guess so we can try to see if the landing gear is down or not. Because you have an indicator on the uh, dash on, on the uh, on the instrument panel that travels like this when the wheels are going up. But vector vision is observation window for either undercarriage or or uh, anybody down below you or what. You gotta stay on top of top of things, especially becoming a fighter pilot. That's the Brewster. I've been working on this Hell Diver too. This is vacuum form kit. I've got the filler on this thing now. So I'm going to take that filler off and prime this thing. And I'm going to cut the back of this off over here to allow the gun openings to think be open position. I've got to cut out these wheel wells and put the landing gear in there. So I've got that going. And I'm farting around with another card model. Got a P47 Thunderbolt 124 scale. Work on it. So, Frankie Day's been pretty busy, fellas. Keeping busy. Okay, I'll take the camera off me. Okay, we're going to have the final reveal for the um, the Boeing F-4B probably by, uh, I think by Tuesday next week. I've got, I've been painting the math. And uh, I got, I've been messing around these card bottles now. It kind of took me away from plastic for a while, but I uh, got me behind my stuff. So I'll be, uh, Having a final reveal for that, so I'm probably getting on that tomorrow. I'll get that thing painted. I already got the whole thing painted. All I have to do is just uh, assemble it and give it a couple of washes and paint tail feathers and decal work and the rigging. It's done. Oh, yeah, I also got to work on the engine cow. Get that painted. And uh, so I got a little work to do on it for it's, uh, for it's over with. The Sky Master hasn't improved. It's still the same. Uh, same shape it was uh, after the last video. That's about it. So I've been knocking them out. Oh, I think I got my choppers behind me. Right over here. I got chopper madness coming up too. I took these out of storage and cleaned them up. And they sparkle pretty good. I like my transporter here. The guys remember the video made on this? This is old 19, Revell 1956, 98 cent wonder. It's no transporter. They called the H16 transporter. It was never used. It was actually an experimental chopper. He squat to the H21s. And uh, other uh, averted uh, choppers. I think it's light as well. I should have put some weight in that thing. Oh, yeah. I got my Cayman over here, the Common, or Cayman, the Common, Operation Pedro.
there's that okay time for you to get out of here guys this camera's getting more getting down a little bit on here and uh so so stay posted for um uh, for a Tuesday, the final reveal on my House of God with 132nd scale F4B. I'll have that shaking your way. And uh, right now, I'm doing a lot of cleaning up the models and stuff, and uh, just keep them busy. And uh, keep building, too. Okay, this is Frankie Day signing of Frankie Day Models. Make Mama happy. Take care of the little ones. Stay focused when you drive. Spend wisely. Wear your mask on. And please, 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 guys, please be careful out there in public. This, this virus is about gone. It's, it'll never leave, but it's, it's just uh, taking a, a savage tackle due to the weather. And with the vaccines coming along, it'll, it will be uh, absolutely uh, no good. It'll uh, pester somebody else. Seems like me, it's attacking the people who are not very healthy. The obese and other underlying health issues, it's really neat. I mean, people are pretty healthy. Uh, they feel bad about two or three days, but pretty soon they're back on their feet again. So please be careful, guys. You don't want to fool around with this stuff. This stuff is no joke. It's, net, it's, it's, it's terrible stuff. So uh, I'll catch you guys on uh, Tuesday at the final reveal. And uh, this is Frankie Day signing up for Frankie Day Models. And i got to prepare and get some supper going right now. Whole Frankie Day is getting kind of hungry. So we'll catch you Tuesday on the final reveal. God bless you guys. I love you fellas. Thank you very much for your wonderful comments and candor. I'm very, very honored, deep to my heart, from the keel to the foretop. This is Frankie Day, signing up Frankie Day Models. God bless you all.